hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a twist out tutorial so for this tutorial we need the can to define and shine custard some eco styler gel i chose to use the black castor and flaxseed oil kind and lastly you'll need an oil of your choosing i chose to use grapeseed oil even though immediately after showing you guys that i stared off into space because I was looking at the bottle and I was like, is this the version where you actually can use it for your hair or is this like the cooking version? But either way, I was just like, screw it because it's been working. So we gonna use that. And before I forget, you're gonna need your hair tools, meaning your fine tooth and wide tooth combs and your brush. So this is me using my comb to make my part on the side. You can make your part wherever you want or you can have no part. It's just a little bit easier when dividing your hair up if you have at least one part so here i am just sectioning off my hair i'm sectioning it to four sections the front has two and the back has two and as you can see i'm not using any combs i'm just kind of freehanding it so to begin you're just going to section out some hair the amount of hair depends on how big you want your twist to be the smaller the twist the more defined the curls the bigger the twist basically the bigger the curls so i wanted medium twists so i'm just taking out a medium sized amount of hair so what you're going to do you're just going to start off by adding your oil to that section of hair you're going to smooth that through i'm also making sure that it's on my scalp just to make sure my scalp isn't dry at all then you're gonna wanna take your Cantu Define and Shine Custard and add that to the section, raking and smoothing that through on top of the oil, making sure to get the ends. Then you're gonna lastly take your gel and just add that to the section. Then you're gonna take your fine tooth comb and run that through the section to detangle. I'm using my fingers once again before using this little small edge brush to now you're going to divide that section of hair into two sections and you're going to cross them. You're going to then bring the back section over the front and the front section will then be the back section. And you're going to bring that new back section over the front. So you're going to continue to twist them over each other, making sure to keep your fingers close together so that you can have a tight twist that will come out fine. If you have any tangles or knots, just be sure to take your fine tooth comb and smooth those out so you can continue your twist. So once you get towards the end, you're just going to take your fine tooth comb and smooth out those last little bits of hair. Then you're going to take some gel and smooth it over before you coil the ends of your hair. And make sure that you coil it very well because if your ends look raggedy then the entire twist out will look raggedy so once again if you know you're having trouble with it using my fine tooth comb to smooth out any tangles and then continuing to twist downward while keeping my fingers close together. Depending on which direction you're twisting this twist in, in my direction it was back over the front, but if you're twisting in the other direction, it's the front over the back, whichever feels more comfortable for you. And once again, you're just gonna smooth out any tangles and once you get to the end, you're gonna comb out the ends then get a little bit of gel and add that to the end and then coil it around your finger to make a cute little coil. So then you're gonna repeat the exact same thing on the third section. After you've sectioned off some hair, you're just gonna add your oil, then your Cantu Define and Shine Custard. And then you're gonna take your gel. Lastly, before you use your comb and brush to make sure that there are no tangles or bumps and to evenly distribute the products through your hair before you section your hair into two and begin to twist.
So now that I've done the exact same thing to both of the back sections, I'm going to be moving on to the front sections. So here I am taking this section out and I'm splitting it into two, taking half and tying that back up. Then I'm dividing that other half section into three. So sectioning out one section at a time and then tying the rest that I'm not going to twist back up to keep it out of my way. So same process, oil, define, custard, gel, comb, then brush. And then we're going to divide it into two. Once you divide into two, you're just going to twist that section. And if you've forgotten, here's a slow down clip again of just how I'm twisting it, which is banging that back section over the front, keeping your fingers close together. And you're just going to continue that same technique all the way to the end. You're going to comb out the ends, add some gel and coil them around your finger. So as you can see here, I accidentally brushed the twist next to it and it loosened up at the root. So all you have to do is just kind of twist the twist over itself, if that makes sense, just to tighten it up at the root so you don't have to undo it and redo the entire thing. This is what my twists look like once I'm all done. Once you're finished, you're gonna take a bonnet. Mine is yellow, a very bright yellow, and you're going to use this to cover your twists while you sleep and let them dry overnight. If you have a dryer, that'll speed up the process, but I don't, so I'm just gonna sleep with them overnight. So now, here I am about to take them down, take the bonnet off, all that good stuff. And the shrinkage is real, guys. It's it's real. It's definitely real. So now I'm just adding some oil to my twists just to make sure they're not dry in any place before I begin to untwist them. So to begin untwisting them, I'm starting at the back. You're just going to twist them in the opposite direction that you did the twist until it's loose and once you do that you're going to separate the twist back into two sections and you're going to continue to do that for the rest of your hair just twist in the opposite direction until it's loose then take the twist and divide it back into two sections So once you've done that, then you're going to separate your twists. If you like it how it is, you can surely keep it this way, but I want mine to be more volumized. So you're just going to take each individual section and you're going to separate them where they naturally want to separate. And then here, after you've done that, you're just going to fluff it out, you know, try to achieve as much volume as you can without disturbing your hair too much. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.